Salt water from the Gulf is getting farther upriver, and now both Plaquemines Parish and the Army Corps of Engineers are taking more extreme measures to deal with it. It is still safe to drink everywhere in Plaquemines, and as Rachel Hanley shows us, that's thanks in part to last year's saltwater emergency. Trailers were dropped off at the Port Sulphur water plant Thursday. They're carrying filters to help keep the area's water safe as salt water creeps upriver. We don't, do not anticipate any drinking water advisories for this event this year. Right now, Parish Emergency Director Patrick Harvey says the water coming into the Boothville plant has more salt than the government considers safe. The plant's been diluting it with water from further upriver. Then this morning, a filter unit like this one was installed to help. Water samples uh, were collected and will be sent to the state lab and they meet today. If they pass, we could start operating that RO unit as early as tomorrow. The filters at Port Sulphur and others at the Pointilla Hash Water Plant could be running by the middle of next week. Meanwhile, the Army Corps of Engineers announced Thursday that it would start building an underwater sill to help slow down the saltwater. Public Affairs Specialist Matt Rowe says the Corps has been paying closer attention since last year when the salt water caused a months long emergency. We started uh, monitoring salt water intrusion uh, once the river falls below 400,000 cubic feet per second. Uh, before that, it was when it fell below 300,000 cubic feet per second. He says the sill will be built near Myrtle Grove, south of Bell Chase. We're hoping to begin construction in mid-September. The goal is to protect the drinking water in Bell Chase. There are almost as many people living here as there are in all the rest of the parish combined. The salt water is expected to impact Bell Chase in about three weeks. The sill should be done right before that. In the meantime, the parish will be testing its system for bringing water from further up river, which is something it put in place last year. A lot of things have gone on <laughs> uh, since last year's event. So, you know, here we are six months later and we are battling it again. A battle the parish expects to win this time around. Rachel Handley, WWL Louisiana. The parish will start testing its system for bringing down that water tonight. If you live between the parish line and the Port Sulphur Water Treatment Plant, your water pressure might be low while it's happening.